Call me, I'm not walking through the mall like this. So call me one, and we're now in Dubai Mall. I tried to edit my dress. Can, can we just find a lift and go? What's your name? Uh, Millie. <laughs> Morning. I'm like somewhat ready. I've got my bikini on and stuff. Why is my sleeping pattern like this? It's so annoying. I just feel constantly tired. I feel like I didn't recover from the jet lag from last being in Dubai and the flight times were awful. So that's probably why. I don't really know what I've even done this holiday. Like we went to the water park yesterday. That was fun. Look at Kami go. Oh my God. <laughs> He's slaying. Woo! Hey, hit the dab. <laughs> Look what my tinted face moisturizer has done to my pillows. It looks like I've got full on foundation on it. We were going to extend our trip from Tuesday, but I think we're just going to go home on Tuesday as we were planning to before. I'm tan now, so I'm going back to the UK with the tan and like my skin's good and everything. So that's the main thing that I care about. <laughs> I wish I made myself look nice for the yacht. I just don't have the time or energy really. I woke up at 2 p.m. today. Like, We've been following them for like 20 minutes and they haven't seen us yet. They looked at me and they didn't recognize me because I got my tash growing. <laughs> oh yeah, you're growing a tash? Yeah. You shouldn't. I look Italian though. Oh god. I think my name's Roberto as well. There's a lot going wrong here. Yacht time! Hello. Oh! What happened? <laughs> they caught me dripping. <laughs> I know. Roberto. <laughs> What's happened? I don't like this Me when I'm having a midlife crisis. This personality ain't the one. Don't go closer. It's greasy. Down bad. He's down bad. I feel sexy and free and way more Italian. What are you stressing about? That our boat's gonna be shy. We paid like £100 each. If that's in England, we're paying like £500 for a nice boat each way. Here we are, guys. Who's getting on first? Finally, we made it to the boat. We've been oh, original. Original. <gasps> oh, good. That's hard. This one. Oh no. <laughs> so which one is it gonna be? Oh, it is this one. Oh, it's quite cute. nice. Oh, that one. Cute. Oh, cute. That's what she said. <laughs> Ow. I don't get it. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. It's recording, right? Yeah. Oh wow, <laughs> Luke already posted up. Oh, thank you so much. Sheesh. You. Sheesh. This is sick. Luke literally like posted up here like a sugar daddy, like welcome to my act. Seriously, posting up on a Thursday afternoon. Oh, I should've got a bottle of Grey Goose. Whoa. I didn't realize it'd be soft drinks. Oh. So we are on the yacht now. Sheesh. On a yacht in Dubai. Sheesh. I've been waiting for this one, honestly. Sheesh. This little gremlin sat next to me. I kind of wish I put more effort into my appearance, like I haven't brushed my hair. Yeah, I was gonna um, say, makeup. how come you came like this on the boat? Beautiful, look at it. Eloise, like an Arabian princess. Stop. Look who came to shake his ass on a yacht. In Dubai, in a song. No, honestly, I'm so excited. I've never been on the yacht before. This is an amazing experience for me. Like, it's gonna be like so surreal. Oh my god, that is so fun. Like, I just can't wait. It's gonna be like such a short experience. Like, so high vibes. What do you think of Kami's new look? Not bad. Really? Nice. I'm wearing my Tash. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, King. <laughs>
Aya. Um, I just wanted to ask you guys to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm really close to hitting 1.5 million subscribers. Actually, I'm not really that close, but I'm gonna get there one day, hopefully. I love when my friends leave their vlogging cameras in the restaurant. Yeah, you left your vlogging camera in the restaurant, love. Um, so we've we got We have it. your camera. We've got your camera and we're about to expose everything. Wait, your camera focuses. Your quality on this is way better than mine. Why? Yeah, you left your camera. That was really freaking smart. Oh, my mask, I think. <laughs> Ooh, is it not? I need to put that on my face. So yeah, you left your vlogging camera, love. I messaged you guys, but uh, I know your phone's dead too. So we love an organized queen. She's so organized. Her phone is dead. She left her camera and she has a flight tomorrow. I bet she hasn't packed either. Bye. I left my vlogging camera in a restaurant. Thanks, Eloise, for delivering that back to me. I look kind of albino. It's quite cool. Good to have you here with me again. Calm down, Will. Calm down. Three, two, one, go. Oh, okay. That was so anticlimactic. I know. She's like, ow. Should I keep going until I break my back? Maybe. Or a leg or something. Maybe. Okay, I'll, I'll keep going until I smash something. <laughs> Cheesecake Factory now. I'm so tired on time though because I'm going to Cheesecake Factory which is half an hour away and then I gotta travel another half an hour because I'm going clubbing again tonight. But Anise is in Dubai, so I really want to see her before we go. A lot of you guys will probably know Anisa, like she was in Locked In when I was on the Foot Asylum reality show thing. That's where I met Jamie. So I'm gonna be seeing her. I'll take my vlogging camera, it'll be so fun. I've got a full battery as well, so I'm so on my shit now. Anyways, look Why who's I'm just hungry, man. This lighting is so ugly, but I was just outside the perfume shop and this guy was like showing me perfume and then he was like, it's only this much and I was like, I'll come back later, it's fine. And then he was like, you're beautiful, take it for free. And I was like, all right. So guys, my battery's flashing red now, so I don't know if I'll be able to vlog tonight because Kami switched batteries and he's saying that he didn't. But his was flashing red and mine was on three bars. And now mine's flashing red and his is on three bars. So that's good, guys. No. You're literally using Jamie's humor. That's so cringe. Jimbo's in his feels because the song's about a mom and dad breaking up and he's got some trauma. Oh, they won't. Thank you, good night. Well, that night was fun. I'm glad I had a good night out compared to the night anyway. I'm back from the night out now. Oh my God, it was so good to see Anissa. Like, I actually love that bitch so much. She's just so vibes and so funny. Like, she's so good to get drunk with, even though she doesn't get drunk, but like just to vibe with, you know? I don't know how this vlog has been so far. It might be like very all over the place. And if it is, sorry about that. But like how it's edited is the reality of my holiday. It's a mess. <laughs> Hi guys, the flight times coming here was so bad and I was still jet lagged from the last time I was in Dubai. <laughs> I'm still jet lagged from the last time I was in Dubai. So I keep getting up at like 12, 11 and it's just so annoying because I want to go on Sunday and have the whole day. I just feel a bit broken to be honest. I don't know why my sleep schedule is so bad. So yeah, what are we doing today? I feel like I look like a Melanie. So we tried going to one hotel rooftop, it was fully booked up. Tried going to another one, it was fully booked up. Tried going to another one with like 10, 15 minute Uber rides in the middle of them. So it's not like ages, but time added up. Went to the third one and it was for hotel guests only. And now it's 4 p.m. That's how long it took. I'm just wearing this kind of like cover up thing. Um, but we're going to like Divine Mall area and I hate wearing this stuff around there because it's like, I feel really disrespectful. But we were supposed to be sunbathing and going in a pool today. So now we're just gonna go eat at a restaurant that we've been to 
you like three times already but everywhere's just booked up it's so busy in Dubai right now it's the busiest time of year because in summer it gets like to 50 60 degrees or like 55 degrees so no one really wants to be here when it's that hot call me I'm not walking through the mall like this what do you mean? what do you think I mean I just I'm not wa wearing this How? going through the mall why not how are we gonna get that there? getting yeah. uber because the other side of the mall yes you they're gonna have to it. go around I am not walking you through the mall like this around. Yes. Everyone covers I up. Like I don't think you realize like I am choosing what you wear every day. Like Yeah, but when did we plan to go to the mall? Do you not realize that we get out of the Uber every time here? But I'm not wearing this. I don't know what you're complaining is if you I'm expect me to go through the mall dressed like this. Well I'll go through the mall, I'll try and buy you an outfit, and then you've got to put it on, but you gotta pay me. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny, should we do it? Where do we go? It's literally like going on holiday with your brother and no parents. Like it can be fun, but most of the time they just annoy you and don't shut up. And I'm not an easy person to annoy, genuinely. So call me one and we're now in Dubai Mall. I tried to edit my dress. Can, can we just find a lift and go? Can we go right? I just want to get out of here. Not Millie coming to the mall in her bikini. I feel insecure. I can't tell if people are like really stuck or not. I've tried to edit my dress to like pull the top up like low, so it's like covering. So we're back at Social House for the fourth time this week. Iced coffee. It makes me feel really bad when I see like the amount of like caramel syrup in the bottom But it's just because it's not mixed in right. It's fine. It's fine I hate saying this because I sound like every basic bitch ever But I just love iced coffee with caramel syrup so much like it really just is the best drink to ever exist I think it's almost beating Diet Coke for me, which is saying a lot. What's your review of Dubai? Have you had a good time? Yeah, it's actually been so nice Really? I, I want to just come back with like my actual friends. Yeah, I want to come back with someone that doesn't complain all the time. I was looking quite you. Oh really? But yeah, the shoot fit as well. Like... You haven't been too bad the last few days though. I see what people's like dirty skin flakes in my hair from my water park. I think it was just your dandruff. Yeah, I know. It's probably bullshit, but I can't be asked. When was the last time you washed your hair? Two months. I got margarita pizza, but it's hot and it's hot outside, so it probably wasn't the best idea. How was yours? Your chips and gherkin? That's so yummy. Oh, floppy. Hi guys, so a little bit of context for how I ended up in the mall is that Kami manipulated me. <laughs> no, I can't actually blame Kami because I have a mind of my own, but I'd been to Dubai before, but I wasn't too aware of how strict the rules actually were. And Kami looked at my outfit and was like, it's literally fine. I don't know what you're complaining about. Like, you're covered up. It's so fine. So then I was looking in the window and I was like, oh, it kind of is fine. And I edited the dress and stuff. So I wasn't showing cleavage and I like put it up at the back and stuff like that. So it wasn't like exposing that much skin apart from my shoulders and arms and a bit of my back. And we weren't going shopping in the mall. We were literally walking straight into the mall to go into a lift to go to the lower ground floor to go to some cafes outside. Bearing in mind, by the way, I would have never, ever, ever come near the mall wearing that usually. It's because we were supposed to go sunbathe on a rooftop. But I don't know if I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this video because the internet has a bunch of snowflakes on it now. But please just leave it. Like, honestly, it was a mistake and it was just a dumb error. I should have researched it and looked it up. In the moment, it was one of those things where I just did it. Like, yes, what I did was wrong, but I realized it was wrong and I was actually mortified myself afterwards. Like, I couldn't believe I'd done that. It was such a dumb mistake to make but I didn't kill anyone or their family. If you want to go cry about it in the comment section go ahead be my guest there's a nice little free area down there for you to get all your thoughts and emotions out and you can go and cry yourself to sleep afterwards so you've got a nice little routine going on and don't expect an apology video because this is the apology video. <sighs> Anyways <laughs> enjoy the clips. I only managed to get a voice recording because I didn't want to pull out a camera would have been a little bit suspicious. Enjoy! I just need your information. And please uh, buy something to cover yourself. Okay, yeah, we're just walking through. How many can we go? What's your name? Uh, Millie. M I. L L. Which country? Nationality? Uh, British. UK. UK, yeah. Can I have your contact number? Oh seven four. Oh seven four. Okay, so you will go down and leave. Okay, yeah, that's fine. No problem. I've just got told off my dress code, like I said, so can we That's leave now? So no, it's not Kami. Oh my god, so you are... Can I just meet you down there and someone's literally there? Oh my god, Kami. Just meet me outside. Can we just get a different meet Starbucks? Me Seriously. No, I don't know where to go. On maps, it tells you oh my go. god, Kami, you're still going to Starbucks after that? They took my information. Can we go? <laughs> yes, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 
there was literally Starbucks outside the mall. No, it's all about experiencing experiences. And if you aren't experiencing experiences 2022, get up and experience something. Do you guys see what I've been dealing with the whole holiday? I'm mortified. Like, only when I got told off did I realise how bad that actually was. But Kami's never been here before, so didn't realise. And when he was like, just going the mall, like, I was literally manipulated by him to think that it was okay. What I'm wearing now is not okay. Oh, that was so awkward. That was so awkward. I actually can't believe that. And Kami literally insisted on going to Starbucks afterwards when we were being escorted out by the lady. That is so bad. I genuinely did not know. I mean, I know now, but I thought that this would, like, be okay. Actually, I didn't even want to go in there in the first place, but we're supposed to go straight through, straight in the lift to go back outside on the other way, like, the other way. But Kami had to go and get coffee and got lost and ended up circling around the entire place. What did I expect? Like, genuinely, what did, did I actually expect? I mean, it's fine. They just took all my information down. When she was taking my information, I was like, oh my god, are they going to arrest me at the airport on the way back? Like, with my information. Oh my god, imagine if they do that. Yeah, I was thinking that. <laughs> well, if any... Oh, I don't know. You're not actually walking in a bikini, like, you kind of have covered up. It's got holes in it, though. Yeah, I know, but it's not like you did it on fucking purpose. You did worse. What? When you were twerking on that car bonnet two minutes ago. <laughs> Shut why don't you show that in the vlog? Show that in the vlog. For those of you that don't get the joke, it didn't actually happen. I mean, well, you're a dumb British blonde tourist. Like, how are you supposed to know? Thank you, I think. I was supposed to be sunbathing by a pool the whole day today at a tourist hotel. Uber, hotel, hotel, back to our apartment again. But then we ended up in Dubai Mall and I was like, no, I'm not going in there. Ended up going in there. And then that happened and I'm actually mortified. Like, I'm genuinely so embarrassed to do that here. I'm going home now. I feel broken. Morning, guys. Ah. Pardon? Um, I'm not vaccinated. No. Thank you. Shut up. Can you hear? No. Mm -hmm. What's so bad Shut up. I'm into the literal strength of you that's so funny. I don't believe you. Oh my god, that was so scary. We were stopped at the airport for so long. Hi guys, hello. So, a little bit of context for what happened at the airport because I didn't want to say anything whilst I was there because I was baiting out a little bit with my camera and filming and recording and stuff. I felt like I looked really suspicious. They just stopped me and asked me a lot of questions when I was checking in, like a lot of questions, really random ones about how long I'd been there for, if I was planning to go back anytime soon, like my vaccination status, just random little things like that. And then Kami decided to tell me that they had a screenshot of me in the mall up on the laptop, which I genuinely believed and I was so scared the whole time I was at the airport and he was lying so it was probably nothing and probably a coincidence they asked me those questions I think so thanks Kami I don't want to seem like I'm blaming Kami for everything as well even though I am I should have known myself not to go in that mall like dressed like that what an idiot like genuinely an idiot just in the moment when Kami was like what are you complaining about it's so fine what you're wearing I was like oh is it oh I guess I am covered up no 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 you messed up there Millie big time well done you idiot but yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. I'm back home now. I'm in my pyjamas. I've got a little bit of a tan on my face, so I'm happy. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more vlogs, you can subscribe because there'll be more to come. What content do you guys want to see on this channel? Do you want more vlogs like this? Do you want more sit-down videos? I'm kind of trying everything at the minute, I guess. I don't know what I'm going to settle down with. Okay, bye, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next week. Bye.